Good afternoon. This is John Marling, president of Pulse Research. I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to get together this afternoon. I recognize and realize, you know, what a unique and challenging time this is. So I appreciate it very much. Uh, would you kindly mute your microphone there? There we go. Okay. Thank you. And so, you know, the topic I want to cover today is now is the best time. You know, I think you agree with me, that sounds rather incongruent, you know, to all the challenges, the uncertainty, the pain and suffering, you know, because of the COVID, you know, pandemic over the last two to three months. But I've been in this business almost 50 years. A, I never thought there would be a time like this, never, ever, where everything, absolutely everything, literally changed overnight. All the businesses closing, you know, working from home, you know, et cetera. But I have the privilege, you know, on behalf of Pulse, working with about, you know, 600 publications, and we get a lot of feedback from them. And what we're hearing is that your local businesses, the local businesses in each one of your communities are facing, and I think you'll agree with this, unprecedented certainty. They don't know from one day to the next what's going to be happening in their community, their county, their state, relative to the phased opening. And furthermore, they don't know if the customers are going to be returning. The bottom line is there is so much incredible uncertainty. And I submit to you, because of that uncertainty, you and your team members have an incredible once in a lifetime opportunity to assist and help your local businesses. I wanna go over the specific reasons why. Pre-COVID, in the good old days, and they sure seemed like it was a long time ago, right? Almost every one of your local businesses had a pretty good idea what the next 90 days would bring because they had historic data to base that, to look into the future. You know, they had sales numbers, they had specific information from their business from last year. So last June to this June, they had a pretty good idea what would be happening, right? Well, obviously COVID has destroyed any type of sense of history because so much has changed. And so those businesses who in the past would be less responsive, you know, to shopping information because they were confident they knew what would be happening. And I've made over 2,000 four-legged sales calls off the first two years. And I sure wish I could get out there again and hopefully in the near future. But a lot of businesses were confident they knew what was happening. They had their own crystal ball. But now, because of COVID, every single one of your businesses does not know with any type of certainty what's going to be happening for their business in the next 90 days. There's literally total uncertainty. Therefore, every single one of the businesses in your community needs and will appreciate next three months shopping information for their business category. And that is the reality. And that's why after 50 years in this business, I am so absolutely confident that each of you and your team members have a unique once in a lifetime opportunity to truly help your business. And I was a publisher once in seven newspapers. And if I was a publisher again, I would do everything I possibly can to insist and support my local business community. A few months ago, we got an email from one of our clients and she said a current shopping survey would really help our local businesses who are freaking out right now. I mean, obviously she nailed it. I mean, businesses are going through an extremely emotional challenging period, as I said a moment ago. She said it would also help us be viewed as that trusted advisor who is here to help them navigate through these unprecedented times. So she suggested to Pulse do a survey that it would be an incredibly valuable, useful resource to help the businesses and position 
their publication as being that consultant, and Pulse did that. We asked the questions the businesses would ask. About a month and a half, actually about two months ago, we, we first fielded the Pulse COVID Impact Shopping Survey. In my 35 years since founding Pulse, I have never seen anything like this. We got over 27, 27,000 completed sample. And so we have for each of you in your Pulse programs, either data from your own audience, because many of our clients reached out and emailed, inv invited their audience, house ads in their paper, inviting their audience, print and web, to take the survey, and they got enough sample to have their own data. Number two is we have over 17 states that we have newspaper reader and website visitor shopping information. And also we have 10 regions of the states for your area and the states right around you. So bottom line is each of you has right now in your Pulse programs, current COVID impact shopping information for over 200 business categories. And this is the information that each of your businesses would appreciate and would find extremely valuable and helpful as they look into the next 90 days. Because one of the things we changed in the COVID impact shopping survey Instead of the normal asking, what did your household spend it by over the next 12 months, we asked over the next three months. And the reason for that is, is because three month window gives you and your businesses much more timely, usable information. And so quick summary, Pulse fielded a survey we asked the questions the businesses would ask to get information of newspaper audiences and website visitors, what the household purchasing plans are in the next 90 days for over 200 business categories. And from our regular Pulse of America survey, we added some business categories we felt would be important because of COVID and we deleted some that frankly nobody was using. So now let's talk about some specific ways. Our recommendations. Here's how you can right now immediately help your local businesses. Number one, and I believe this firmly, please stop engaging with price-based offers. I know that's comfortable. It's what this industry has done for a long time. Let's engage, and I want to underscore first, engage first with the opportunity for them with your pulse covid shopping information what's in it for them the value of your audience that gets the attention because once again they don't have information about what's going to happen in june july and august what they want is somebody to be that consultant help them and so I would first suggest in your Pulse programs, you have the teaser. It is phenomenally simple. It's one big number. What's in it for the business? It gives them hope. It gives them encouragement. So many of the businesses in your community have experienced significant challenges and downturns they will be so appreciative of seeing what's the opportunity, what's in the pipeline for their business. And what's even more important here is this is the opportunity for their business category of your audience. And all Pulse does in the teaser, by the way, by, you know, just as a reminder, is we just take the percentage, you know, from your COVID shopping information times the households you reach, to give us the number, what's in it for the business, the teaser. And all your team members have to do is just call the business, because many of them are working from home, and just share with them the fact, we participated in a Lumbriard survey. We asked the same questions you, Mr. Lumbriard, would ask. Do you plan to shop at a Lumbriard? We found out there's over 
almost 5,500 households. That gives them hope. That gives them encouragement. You're providing certainty in a time of uncertainty. And then you would also suggest, would you like to know more about what they plan to buy? Well, what do you mean by that? We asked, do they plan to buy interior paint, exterior paint? Do they plan to buy fencing? Do they plan to do a deck? Every business today, because they don't know, is going to be positive and responsive. Yeah, I want to know more. Let's get together. And so that's why I say, with all humility and sincerity, this is the best time ever for each one of you to assist and help your local businesses. Because now, right now at this moment, you've got the information and the ability to communicate to them the opportunity of your audience, even with COVID, you know, for their businesses, okay? Second thing I would recommend is let's, Find some ideas for them. Your Pulse Flyer, and by the way, we've updated your Pulse Flyer. Notice the new headline, to help your business plan during these uncertain times. That shows some empathy, that shows some reality. To help your business plan during these uncertain times, Pulse Research asks the questions you would ask. It's your survey. Do you plan to shop? A remodeling contractor over the next three months. In this example here, the big number, what's in it for them? 702 said yes. Once again, certainty, what's in the pipeline for their business? But now let's find some ideas for them, okay? Look at this, remodeling bathroom. In this example, over 830 households said, yes, we plan to remodel our bathroom there have been so many positive increases in shopping plans because of COVID. Most of the categories relating to the home, including the ones here on your screen right now relating to remodeling are up because people are spending more time at home and it's becoming more apparent that they should be painting, they should be buying a you know, new recliner chair, landscaping and remodeling the bathroom. So the flyer helps you help your businesses with ideas on where the opportunities are for their business given the reality of COVID. Okay. The other thing in your survey is that we asked about what do your readers want? What information do they want and need from your local businesses? More ideas, friends help friends. This is what we learned. The community, overwhelming percentage, are, are confused as to what's going on. They want to know, your businesses should be communicating, advertising, the status of their business, the hours of the business, the services they're offering. Are they doing any online services, employment needs? This is so helpful to your local businesses. Another suggestion I have, and I think it's more appropriate and is extremely helpful to the local businesses. And I think you'll agree with me that so many of your businesses today are facing extreme financial challenge. They're hurting. And even in the good old days, including when I was an ad rep, price cost was an issue. I would submit to you that that's even more challenging today because of the tight economics, fear, and uncertainty. Let's take that off the table. Your pulse break even calculator with their participation accomplishes a significant and a, an incredibly important benefit. It shares with them, they realize for themselves, when they participate in the calculator, how few customers they need to pay for a campaign. So remember the remodeler was over 900 households in the last example, we're gonna use a remodeler. All they need is 18, just 18 customers over the next 52 weeks to pay for the campaign. I would suggest that if your team members are working from home, they can do a Zoom webinar, you know, Microsoft Meet, et cetera, and up on your rep screen, they can put the pulse break even in calculator and get the input from 
the business person. You know, what's your customer value? Fill in the blank. What's your cost of goods? Fill in the blank. And it calculates with them for them what the net customer value, and then it automatically calculates taking the net customer value into the campaign, how few customers they need. And what's the benefit of that? Because of COVID and the severe economic pain and suffering of many of your businesses, it helps them realize that yes, they can continue or start back with that advertising campaign with you because of how few business, how few customers they need to continue or start a campaign with you. So in closing, I wanna say on behalf of the Pulse team, thank you so much for the opportunity to assist and support you during this very unusual time. But once again, I absolutely feel this is a unique once in a lifetime opportunity for each one of you and your team members to help, to help your local businesses because you have the information from your Pulse COVID Impact Shopping Survey that nobody else has, nobody has. The businesses don't have it, the government doesn't have it, you have it, and your businesses will sure appreciate it, and it will make a significant difference, impact, benefit in helping you get back some of the advertising you lost and get some new advertising back into your publications. So on behalf of the Pulse team, once again, I wanna thank you so much for the opportunity to assist and support. If you have any questions or suggestions, send me an email, marling, M-A-R-L-I-N-G, at paper.net. Thank you very much, stay healthy, stay well, and we appreciate you.